Okay, today's video is definitely a use at your own risk uh, video. This is not maybe the way you want to dress it for your particular situation. You might want to try like a silicone caulk remover first, but I find this is the only way to get it off of my particular shower enclosures. So here goes. I'll show you how I get these done. Okay, today I got a major remodel gun. And this one, you can see all the, some of the parts here and a bunch of other junk. But uh, we've taken out the tub door on this one. And what I'm going to show you is removing all the remnants of what's left behind. What you've got is a, a whole bunch of silicone and everything else here. And I won't bore you with making you watch all of it. That'd be kind of too long. But I just want to show you what I wind up using as a razor blade. And I just used a just regular old razor blade. Um, you can put it in a, in a scraper tool, but I find I wind up just using it outside of the scraper tool. And I'll just show you here, you would think that you'd be able to slice it off, and some of it you can just kind of get underneath there and slice it all off. Now this stuff is uh, mirror adhesive, and it's very sticky, and it'll dull the blade pretty quickly. But um, after you've scraped off the majority of it, a lot of times you'll have some deeper, deeper grooves here. And what I wind up having to do is basically hold it at a 90 here and scrape the rest of that. Because some of this you can get, but it's not really getting the, uh, the deeper area. So just kind of the way I've got to get these and uh, just takes a little time and get it done. Now as much as possible I try to get this green mirror adhesive up um, without the uh, razor blade so I'm not dulling the razor blade but sometimes that's just what it takes. Take it off and then this I'm being careful to throw it away so I don't get it in a rag or anything and then rub it in anything else because it's some messy stuff. It's just kind of putty like and sticky but it, it likes to leave a lot of residue behind. So uh, anyway, that's how to remove all the stuff from the uh, silicone. And you'll see, especially on these sidewalls here, even once I've got it off, it really takes kind of getting in there and scraping it down. Again, it's tedious. But that's really what it takes here. Get the job done. Some of this slicing it off doesn't really get it all the way down, so you've just kind of got to come in, scrape it down. Of course, maybe different on your particular shower door, but that's how I'm able to get rid of these. This is just texture, it'll just wipe off with water. That part's no big deal, but um, all this silicone that's left behind it just takes a bit more working with. Okay, since this green stuff, uh, the mirror adhesive, tends to dull the, the razor, I, I usually just save that part for last. I've been able to make some progress here on getting this stuff off. You know, again, use this at your own risk if you scratch your shower. It's not my fault. I'm just showing you how I get through mine. I'm not saying this is the way to necessarily get through yours if you've taken one of these off. Um, with these corners, what I wind up doing is I can't really get in there that well with the razor. I can a little bit to cut through at the corner. But what I usually wind up doing is take my flat blade knife and just get up under there like so. Just right in the corner to get that out and that usually works out pretty good for me and then the rest I can get out with the razor and that's how I usually get around the corner yeah. just a whole lot of elbow grease and a little care and I'll come back and caulk and touch up paint with the appliance touch up paint the little holes Seal those off, seal the moisture out. Again, I'll show you this corner area. You just take the razor, get down 
close to it, can't really get all the way in there, and then take my flat blade knife. And just get all that stuff out of there. And that's how I get the corners. Quickly and easily. And the rest I do with the razor. All right. Okay, making quite a bit of progress. <laughs> Still a ways to go. Uh, check out my video on how to install the curved shower rod. I, I show that in another video. So uh, once this is all finished, the curved shower rod comes out a bit and gives you a little more room in the shower. Kind of a nice deal. Okay, so now I got most of it off. Still got a ways to go. Um, but now my, that I got most of it off, I'm going to go ahead and get this green stuff off. So I was telling you it has a tendency to dull the blade, but just want to get underneath it kind of as much as possible. Kind of get it in all one piece if possible. It's definitely a lot easier on this flat area. Okay, and you can see it's left behind a little bit of stuff here. So again, I'm going to go back to the 90. And again, use this information at your own risk. You, you may want to do something different, like a caulking remover or juice pot or something else, but I've found for my situation, this is the only thing that works. So, got to do what I got to do. Anyway, this is how I'm getting through it. Now, that part came, I want to make sure I throw this away, get rid of it, um, so it doesn't get into anything else. So I'll just wrap it up here and throw it away. Um, on the side walls, it's a little bit trickier because this has a little bit of a texture to it. But same thing, just going to get underneath it as much as possible, get most of it in one piece. And you can see how it's collecting on the, on the blade already. But the rest of it, I'll have to go back to getting at a 90. And take it all out. As you can see, even that's a bit tedious. And the fiberglass is a little bit, it's the same material a little ways through. So you have a little bit of room before the color is gone. So. Do what you gotta do. Some of those spots I may have to touch up paint if it's gone below, taken, gone past the color. But here's what it is. Get it all going, get the rest, and I'll try to show you the finished product. Okay, there it is. All gone, it's not perfect. I still got cleaners uh, coming, gonna clean it and everything like that. Um, but uh, now all that's left is fill in the holes and the little appliance touch-up paint. We're good to go. Uh, for filling in the holes, you can use like JB Cold Weld or there's some other epoxy putties and then just some uh, appliance touch-up paint and almond works pretty good. Not a perfect match, but close enough. Good to go.